It is with the sense of our ever-increasing interdependence that I decided to write a letter to the next President of the United States, a letter that tries to explain how radically different Europe is today, that sketches out global trends as I see them, that calls for all new approach that can respond effectively to these trends, engage with others, and focus on key challenges that we all face. Given all this, it is no surprise that we work so closely together. And in these times of uncertainty, the European Union needs the US, and yes, the US needs the EU more than ever. We can thrive in a global economy as long as we maintain our productivity and also our ability to innovate. And the reasons why science, technology, and universities are so important. This means promoting trade and investment between our economies even further, which is why your predecessor, along with Chancellor Merkel and myself, created the Transatlantic Economic Council last year in a bid to eliminate remaining non-tariff barriers and achieve regulatory convergence. European Union and US must now join forces towards such a new multilateralism. We have to make room at the top table for others because that is the only way we can consolidate and strengthen a stable multilateral world governed by internationally agreed rules. This strategy does not have to imply the surrender of our interests or our values. On the contrary, it is a hard-headed and realistic conclusion that flows from a sober analysis of geopolitical realities and the challenges of globalization. The strategic effect of our partnership, so positive in the past, will start to evaporate unless we succeed in complementing it with a new politics of global engagement that reaches out to the world in search of new partnerships and effective multilateral strategy. In fact, in my view, the time has come to start thinking of an Atlantic agenda for globalization. I believe we should seize these opportunities and start writing our new Atlantic agenda now, an agenda for globalization, not just an agenda for our mutual benefit, but an agenda to provide the world with more decent principles for global governance.